He was a Hollywood heavyweight and hometown hero who made us laugh with comedy classics like Ghostbusters and Groundhog Day. Harold Ramis died today, but he is sure to put smiles on the faces of generations to come. Roseanne Tejas takes a look back now at the comedy legend. I gave my love a story. From a fraternity in Animal House to the army in Stripes. It's Czechoslovakia. It's like going into Wisconsin. Well, I got this kicked out of me in Wisconsin once. Harold Ramis could make it hilarious. The 69-year-old actor, writer, and director got his start at the Second City more than 30 years ago. I'm afraid people are going to read it and go, geez, well, you know, what makes this guy think he can write? This is so amateurish. So Harold is looking all nerdy in his glasses. I think He's it's so young. What will you miss the most? Uh, uh, Harold Ramis was an A-plus creative talent and an A-plus human being, which never happens. Leonard says the key was the intelligence behind the stupid jokes. That's partly why people are so um, emotionally attached to things like Stripes and Ghostbusters and Caddyshack. And you start to name these and you're like, these are the greatest comedies of all time. With one thing in common, Harold Ramis. Movie critic Richard Roper says Ramis knew how to be funny and let other actors shine. He was a setup man. He was a go-to guy. He served the other actors when films he was in. I think that's why he concentrated more on becoming a director and a writer because he knew he was funny, but he had more of a deadpan style. Ramis also avoided the Hollywood limelight, coming home to raise his family in Glencoe. I think it actually helped him as a filmmaker because, again, he was interacting with regular people and not just ensconced in the Hollywood community. Harold Ramis, comedic genius and Chicagoan to the end. Now, Ramis is survived by his wife, Erica, and three children, Julian, Daniel, and Violet. Our condolences to them. Private services will be later this week, but a public memorial may be planned for May. And Rob and Marissa, I don't know about you guys, but after doing the story and just remembering the number mm -hmm. of funny mm -hmm. movies, I'm like set to go watch. I want to watch Stripes again. I want to watch all of them over again. They're so iconic, those movies. And we were talking about it before we, we came on about all, all I mean, the just classics. really classic yeah, movies yeah. for people in our age group, you know? Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Roseanne.